Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earth Master out here. 9.31 in the p.m. out here in California. January 20, 25th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows a 3.6 here. Uh, looks like the um, down across South America area. Latest quake there in the green flag. Starting off here with tremor activity. Across the Cascadia subduction zone, seeing a little uptick here today with 312 epicenters of tremor. Looks like uh, the earthquake out there last night, that 4.7 along the Blanco fracture zone, enhanced the strain out here across the southern end. And it looks like maybe the central uh, portion of the Cascadia subduction zone as well. Uh, 312 epicenters of tremor down into the uh, subduction zone of the Cascadia, the 4.7 up here. Um, Late last night, uh, if anything, it does look like things have strained up here a little bit. Uh, nothing else going on in terms of any elevated earthquake activity here across the coastline. Uh, Northern California, a handful of earthquakes up here. Really nothing big going on yet. Uh, did not mean to open that one. Let me check uh, this model. Uh, haven't seen a lot of earthquake activity showing up on the Petrolia station, which sits down here either today. So... Uh, just kind of a quieter day, Northern California. Even though we got trimmer up north, earthquake activity fairly quiet. Uh, it's roughly about the Bay Area southward here into Southern California that things have been uh, somewhat amplified. 2.9 outside of the San Francisco Zoo earlier this afternoon. 22.2 miles deep. Uh, looks like that's just off the San Andreas Fault there. A little, little odd earthquake. Um, I mean, obviously we've seen... A number of earthquakes here in this region recently. If we go back the last 30 days. Had about uh, 31 earthquakes here in total, including, um, I think we had some upper twos, even a 3.5 out there uh, across the San Francisco Bay region. So things have been uh, amplified out here. And this little earthquake here tonight, or earlier this afternoon, just a little odd one being off the uh, plate boundary like that. Either way, we'll continue to keep an eye on that uh, region. 2.4 outside the uh, Mariposa area, eastern side of the San Joaquin Valley from earlier this afternoon as well. Roughly about the same time period as the uh, San Francisco earthquake there. Uh, Southern California, a couple more earthquakes in the last hour. Lighten up here off the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment, 1.5. Been watching uh, a little trail of earthquakes here around this little bend area in the plate boundary recently. And uh, in general, things appear to be amplifying out here across Southern California. Uh, nothing big for now. Uh, 2.8 up here around the Thousand Oaks area. That uh, is on the uh, Santa Susana Mountains there. A little decent fault system that runs up here. A little uncertain, though, on which uh, fault that uh, 2.8 struck on. Could be the uh, Sierra Madre Fault, maybe the Oak Ridge Fault. Hard to say, but uh, I've definitely been noticing some strain out here across Southern California in the last couple days, and more so last year when we had all those fours popping up all over the place. That was uh, definitely an interesting event. So we'll continue to keep an eye on the San Andreas Fault. It is showing these little strain signatures. Little strain earthquakes right up against it or just right off of it uh, in certain bend areas. San Jacinto Fault Zone, pretty active down here. A little swarm of activity. Uh, nothing big on the uh, the Brawley Seismic Zone. Got one little earthquake on it today. 1.4. It's been a little while since we've seen a swarm out there. You guys remember uh, um, oh, throughout the years we periodically would get some decent earthquake swarming out here. And it's been a... Pretty quiet up here across this region. Handful of earthquakes on the Imperial Fault uh, in the last 30 days. Just, just be prepared out there. Yellowstone National Park, nothing going on. But let's just verify that nothing is going on. I want to make sure. Because sometimes the USGS will not show earthquakes, even though they're happening out here. Uh, I do see one legit sizable earthquake here showing up on Purple Mountain, Mary Lake. Maple Creek as well. This is going to be this earthquake. Looks like a uh, maybe a low-grade 2, magnitude 2. 
couple other smaller quakes out there throughout the afternoon as well. Uh, nothing showing up here from the USGS map in regards to that earthquake activity, but uh, there is a little bit kicking up out there across the, uh, looks like it's the west side of the Yellowstone region. Uh, oil fields out there rocking and rolling outside of Pecos. A couple earthquakes out there. Uh, New Madrid, pretty quiet. The uh, rest, uh, rest of the country out there, pretty quiet as well. Uh, New Zealand, a little bit of movement stirring up here off the, uh, just off the plate boundary. Not, you know, probably not in the good zone. Of course, New Zealand's one of these areas that uh, have been waiting for some, I wouldn't say they're waiting, but uh, historically speaking, some time has passed since uh, the last big uh, sequence of earthquakes here off the Alpine Fault, the Hikurangi subduction zone. 4.4 coming in earlier this afternoon into the New Zealand region. North of Christchurch, just out, uh, looks like it's south here of the Cook Strait. Uh, that earthquake uh, being recorded as a 4.5 from the GeoNet servers. Uh, looks like it was felt uh, across the area around Wellington. 200 and, uh, what do we got? No, oh, 182 reports there of folks feeling that uh, 4.5 earthquake uh, in New Zealand. I'll we'll check the earthquake drums here real quick. There is that 4.5 showing up here on the graph. <laughs> As I was going through this here, I just had a comment pop up in my head that I've seen earlier. I do have a tendency to, uh, you know, zigzag and zoom around and switch windows all over the place really quickly. That's just how I function, but I will try to slow it down. Uh, I do know that uh, I have a, a bad habit of switching uh, through here really quick, but uh, I'll try to minimize that uh, the quickness and just slow it down a little bit. All right, so there's that 4.4. Uh, as far as any other earthquake activity out there across New Zealand, uh, gen generally threes up there across uh, the Kermadec Trench northward. Uh, Hawaii or uh, Hawaii. Did we swap places up here? Alaska, a couple threes going on. Hawaii, we uh, got back to a pause there in terms of the eruption at the Kilauea volcano. Let me show you guys here real quick the uh, webcam imagery. Still, obviously, some hot uh, glowing lava out there. It takes a little while for this to cool and solidify. But as uh, far as the eruption goes, I believe that is over now. Let's go ahead and check out the latest update there from Kilauea Volcano. It is at a pause status as of 12.36 p.m. Hawaii time. That's going to be the uh, number six episode there. And uh, it's been an odd, it's been a, a little odd pattern out here with the consistent um, eruption activity followed up by a couple days of... Uh, swelling so to speak here's our here's our last uh eruption notice the deflation event that only lasted for a short period now we're going back up after it pausing right here so there's obviously a good amount of accumulated magma underneath the area and you know not enough to consistently make this in like a you know explosive event or anything bigger than what it is uh, just a rinse and repeat cycle right now with this uh with the Kilauea volcano, nothing uh, new as far as any changes go, uh, except for the the continual off and on pattern out here. Uh, earthquake activity fairly quiet. Got one earthquake uh, registered there on the map in the last 12 hours, but really not a whole lot going on in terms of any you know suspicious swelling or anything that would tell me that uh, things are going to get worse there across the Big Island. It looks. Um, pretty stable uh, with the ongoing activity. Taiwan, a couple more earthquakes out over here. Got a swarm stirring up out here again. Some fives and fours. The strain is building out here. Uh, I still think we're going to see some larger scale earthquake activity out here around the region. Thinking maybe the Nankai Trough, potentially maybe this area down here as well. They've, they've gotten uh, some eight pointers out here in this region historically. And uh, it's been a little while since they've had an eight-pointer down there as well. So just uh, coming up on a, you know, a time period here where I think we're going to see some elevated 
larger events. Uh, typical movement there across the Indonesia Islands area. Nothing big going on there for now. And the rest of the globe, twos and threes out there across the Mediterranean. A little 3.1 in South Africa. Aside from that, uh, looks like a typical day here. Let's see what we got for the largest activity. I believe that's going to be, yeah, that 5.2 there in the uh, Taiwan area. Keep an eye there on the uh, Nankai Trough, folks. Space weather activity, or lack thereof, no auroras there. They uh, magically missed the planet. We were expecting a G1-class storm what, last night, maybe sometime early this morning. That never happened. Completely missed us. So I uh, guess we'll have to see and wait for the next uh, CME. Flare threat, uh, fairly minimal. Not looking at any major flare threat out here from the current sunspots. Uh, we're seeing a number of them depart off the western limb here of the sun, and we're left with a whole lot of nothingness. Uh, there's a region out here on the southeastern limb of the sun we'll have to watch in the coming days. Might be a player and producing some flaring. I noticed a couple bright features out there on the UV image of the sun. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, not a whole lot of severe weather there in the forecast for now. Southern California getting a little bit of rain showers out there. Some snow up in the mountains around the, oh, probably Mammoth Mountain area. That uh, has been creating a lot of wind out here in Northern California today. I uh, Earlier when I was doing the update, I heard something fall outside. And I have a, oh, I don't know, it's a 12-foot pruning ladder. One of the big ones that are pretty stable. Well, that wind out there knocked it over and... Good thing nobody was out there. It's pretty strong. I think we had about 50 mile per hour gust today around the uh, uh, this area of the Sacramento Valley where I'm at. I still hear the wind blowing out there. That's going to continue through the night, die off tomorrow though. So we got low pressure out here in Southern California, stirring up some rain showers. Hopefully that helps um, taper down the fire situation out there. Those folks have been dealing with uh, a lot of fires out there. That low pressure system also will be responsible for some severe weather as we head into the middle of next week. We'll check back on that as we get a little bit closer, but it uh, looks to be uh, potentially a good severe weather threat day out there. I, I mean, I say a good severe weather day because that's that's my my lingo. I'm a weather guy, but, uh, you know, bad for the folks that uh, live out there and have to deal with the severe weather. But we'll check back on that a little bit later on. Uh, another system coming into the west coast there as we head towards the end of the weekend and early next week. This one looks a little bit more sufficient in terms of rainfall accumulation. Got a number of storm systems there, including Southern California that's going to get hit by some rain. That appears to be the pattern, uh, thankfully, as we head into the uh, even the second week of uh, February. With sufficient rainfall, total accumulated precipitation runs out here for my neck of the woods northward. Southern California, at least getting something. It's better than leaving this an open uh, hole out there that uh, shows no rainfall. Uh, real quick glance here at the fire conditions down there in Southern California. Got, uh, wow, what's going on out in Arizona? A couple smaller ones there. Um, the Border 2 fire looks like uh, the majority of the hot spots there, the satellite-based thermal imaging, imagery, uh, shows that uh, the hot spots have been put out. There's a little area down south here, but that's uh, good news that they're getting a handle on that. 10% containment, 6,000 acres burned with that. Uh, the areas up north around Los Angeles, the Eaton Fire, I believe these are just about out. Uh, I'm sure they've been out here for a couple days, but the containment's uh, taken a little while you know, to secure the perimeter. Uh, the Hughes, Hughes fire, that uh, looks like that's pretty well contained as well. 90% containment, no hot spots being observed across the area for now. Northern California, not a whole lot going on there as uh, far as fire activity goes. I want to give a quick glance at the um, radar imagery out here. You have some scattered showers out here. They're not really expecting too much in terms of total rainfall accumulation out here. 
Um, let me see what we got here. Over the next couple days. Yeah, really not a whole lot. This is the ECMWF model. We'll go to the HRR model, which should show a little bit more discrete uh, weather potential. Some of the mountain regions up here looks like an inch and a half or so. This is the area uh, that just got that big fire over here, the Palisades fire. So that much rainfall uh, falling out there, two inches there around that region, would create uh, some, some landslides, obviously. Uh, the lowland areas, not so much in terms of rainfall accumulation. The mountains, obviously, more due to the uh, lift of the um, the airflow there. So not good. Fires, then it turns around and uh, get some flooding out there. So continue to watch that. Uh, but right now... Not a whole lot happening. Just some showers around Los Angeles area, Beverly Hills. Uh, my neck of the woods up here, really not a whole lot of uh, rainfall. This is going to be mainly a Southern California event until the end of this weekend. End of uh, next weekend, I should say, when we get a more sufficient pattern going on. All right. Uh, what else is there, folks? I think that's about it. Earthquake activity is happening like it always does on any given day. You know, just a, a little bit of elevated conditions here across Southern California. I look at these maps 24-7. So I see when it's slow and I see when it's, you know, picking up. And past couple days here it's been picking up. And specifically, you know, right around the San Andreas Fault there. So we'll watch it. See what happens overnight. Have a good one. Enjoy your Saturday night. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Sunday morning update after hopefully a good night's sleep. We'll see. Take care.